what's going on everybody welcome back and uh glad everybody could join i've been absent for a couple weeks we uh been doing some stuff around the house and stuff like that and uh well one big announcement is that uh i am no longer with prime inc i won't divulge the name of the company that i'm with just yet because i'm not you know uh sure if they want their name out there but uh what i'm doing is uh right now i'm hauling some boats and uh basically i'm sitting at a flying j in marion indiana catching me a 34 and uh today was a day of cleaning the truck or i guess i could say uh cleaning the interior of the truck i don't know if i shot a video of some changes that i made to the interior well it's actually only one change but it actually added a lot more headroom in the truck and uh what I'll do is I'll flip the camera around, kind of give you all a little look of the interior and something else that I have planned. I also uh, installed some different color LED lights underneath the truck, and I'll turn them on when I get out the truck and show you the load and stuff like that, and uh, hopefully you can see it. i also post some pictures that I have uh, that I took, so, all right, well, Let's uh, flip the camera around and uh, show you a little bit of what we did to the interior. Because I'm not sure if I showed y'all or not, but I might have. So, all right. Let's get it flipped around and show you what we got. All right. So, well, like I said, you know, we did some cleaning to the interior. She was a little dirty. Not bad. Because I try to keep my truck clean all the time. So, and uh, I'm trying to figure out something that I can... Put up here on the windshield that way i can get some video footage going down the road um because i know some people like to see you know going through the cities and stuff like that and then some of the beautiful scenery along the way but uh i'm gonna kick this light on my little cabinet all right so what i did was you can see uh, if it focuses which it is not wanting to do. Don't know why. Let's see if we can step it back a little bit. Yeah, there we go. All right, so this right here is a two by six that I wrapped in some gray fabric that uh, we found at Walmart. And it made a tremendous difference on the amount of headroom that uh, that you have back here. Because I couldn't tell you how many times I sat up and busted my head. So, but that was a uh, lunch and dinner. So, all right, well, let's all hop on out the truck and uh, we'll go ahead and show you the load. And uh, maybe I can get the LED lights. Uh, maybe they'll be bright enough to where you can see it. So, all right, let's get out of here. All right, so sorry for the noise. Uh, gentleman next to me has his truck running and everything around here is so tight but uh we're gonna go ahead and walk around the truck and show you what this load is and uh hopefully we can you know get some more videos out i'm starting to get a little bit more free time and i really like doing these videos for everybody so all right here we go all right so what we're gonna be hauling is pontoon boots and uh let me zoom out a little bit. Make it a little bit easier to see stuff because of, of these confined quarters. But uh, these things are very nice. I got to throw a strap over this. This is how they did it and I don't really like it. So I'm going to go get me a light duty strap and I'm going to belly wrap it and then go to each side of the trailer because I don't like just rope hanging on there. But it worked to get to the truck stop. So... Yeah, we decided to uh, change companies, you know, not that uh, Prime did me anything wrong. I will admit, you know, 
they was a great company to work for. And, um, you know, obviously no company is perfect, but they were nowhere near a horrible company to work for, you know. And the changes that I would like to see, you know, might not work for everybody. It's just things that I figured I would, you know, change if I had my own say-so on things. But I don't. But uh, obviously y'all can see these are pontoon boats. I don't know the exact size, but they're very light. Get great fuel mileage with running these things. Um, I've showed y'all the lights in the past that I did, but one big thing that I did change, like I said, was the green was the LED lights. We went from purple to green, and actually she's lighting up pretty good for being in the daytime. So we got a wash yesterday, but unfortunately it decided to snow in some areas. The ground was wet and it got it dirty again. So alrighty, well we're gonna get some more video footage you know as we going down the road and uh bring y'all some more stuff pretty much all my loads are pretty much this but i'll be glad to show y'all you know exactly what each load looks like every time that i get one and uh we gonna wrap this little session of this video up i hope everybody uh enjoyed the little walk around and a little bit of sight towards my interior now the guy on the side of me pulled off so I can actually walk out a little bit and get a good view of what we got kicking here. Like I said, I apologize. I don't want to put the name out there because I'm not exactly sure how the owner would feel about it. But, alrighty. See y'all in a little bit. Alright, so what I forgot to show y'all is... I got these trucks, two inch mini spotlights. And uh, what I'm gonna do is, they have some holes that's up in the headache rack. I think I'm gonna either mount them there or I'm gonna mount them on these uh, side skirts to get a little bit better view when going down the road. But uh, I tell you what, I seen these little lights in the store and they had to uh, test them and man these suckers were bright so hope they're gonna work out good you know for seeing at nighttime light it up just a little bit more and uh that's about it for these lights we're gonna try to get them installed probably within the next week or two when i get a little bit of free time i gotta get some more stuff like wire and stuff like that so all righty well time to get on out of here Good morning. How's everybody doing? Well, we here to drop off a boat load. So we're going to go ahead and jump out the truck and uh, show you what we got and show you the weather conditions we have. So here we go. So this is our current load. I'm going to zoom out a little bit. We are delivering these up in Mayville, New York. Two more pontoon boats. Just had the uh, APU fire up, so we're gonna stay away from that because uh, it's a little noisy. But as you can see, it is a little snowy. Roads are clear, but it is cold and uh, weather conditions that I don't really like. So. I am going to jump back in the truck where it's a little bit warmer in just a second. I think we'll take up take a walk up to the uh to the lake. I guess a lot of these places uh stock up on their boats during the winter time. That way come the spring and summer. They have boats to sell. 
you'd think that we'd have more runs to the south where people can still use boats, but not a bad little facility out here. It's nice, pretty, and uh, we're gonna end this portion of the video and uh, get back in the truck. That way I don't freeze to death out here because this Louisiana boy don't like all this cold. Talk to y'all later. Alrighty, we are offloaded. Go ahead and walk through this ice, trying not to slip on my tushy and bust it. And uh, time to get out of here.